So now I've got a story about a really old wolf who liked vegetables. And we're going to start the story off where the wolf is planting seeds in his garden to grow vegetables. vegetables. Right. Now this wolf is really, really old. And his hearing is not so good. So when I go like this, I want you to all yell out, Wolf! Wolf! Can we try that? Okay, one more time. Perfect. The hungry old wolf was too slow to snatch birds and too stiff to chase rabbits. So he tried growing food in a small garden. Bah! Weeds everywhere. There's so many I can't even find the vegetables. The old wolf growled, rubbing his empty stomach. As he yanked dandelions from where his carrot should have been, his ears began to twitch. <laughs> the old wolf fumbled with his hearing aid. Who's calling me? I don't remember having any friends on this mountain. In fact, the old wolf didn't have any friends on any mountain. Maybe they have some food to share. A mere morsel would do. His bones creaked and his joints cracked as he slowly made his way toward the voice. After a tiring climb and two stub toes, the old wolf came to a clearing. What's this? A boy? With goats? The old wolf drooled with excitement. Surely he can spare one for a hungry wolf. But before he could step into the meadow, a group of villagers came clamoring up over the hillside. The old wolf stayed hidden behind the bamboo as the villagers surrounded the boy. Where's the wolf? A villager cried out, waving a stick. Did he take any goats? What wolf? The boy giggled. There's no wolf. We ran up this hill for nothing. Call us only if you see a wolf, scolded another. Now the old wolf wasn't fond of angry villagers, and especially ones with sticks. So he limped down to a nearby stream to soak his feet. Kids, humph. Always playing tricks on old folks and old wolves. Before long, the boy's cry came again. Wolf! Wolf! Another wolf is taking those tasty goats? The old wolf couldn't stand the thought and quickly hobbled back to the meadow. The villagers were already there, huffing and puffing from running up that hill. Where's the wolf? Are the goats okay? What wolf? The boy laughed. From behind a tree, the old wolf watched the villagers stagger back down the hill. There's got to be a way to get one of those goats from that trickster, he thought. Perhaps through a trick of my own. The old wolf sat down to work out a plan and was soon snoring away and dreaming of Mushu goat and double goat dumplings. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf. The boy yelled out again, Ah, I can't even enjoy the goats in my dreams. This boy is worse than the weeds. He stretched his aching legs and went to the meadow once more. Perfect. Not a villager in sight. The old wolf slowly crept out towards the boy. The goat swiftly scattered to the far edge of the meadow. Were you calling me over for lunch? The old wolf grinned. Wolf. There's a wolf! The boy cried as he scrambled up a tree. Quit your yelling said the wolf. Those villagers won't believe you anyway. 
but, but this time it's true. They have to believe me. You're a real wolf and you're going to take the goats. Now the old wolf knew his legs were too tired to chase down goats. So he carefully lowered himself onto a nearby rock and gazed up at the boy. His lips curled into a smile. The villagers are only going to believe you if you're missing a goat. I can help you with that. <laughs> Just one goat, the boy grinned. I'm a picky eater. That plump one over there looks just about right. But you have to bring it to me. Bring it to you, the boy asked. Yes, over the mountain, you're going you're gonna to find a garden. Just tie it to the fence post there. And the wolf started home. The next morning, the wolf was overjoyed to see a plump goat nibbling away in his garden. Good fortune at last, he said. Today, I'm going to feast like an old wolf should. The wolf's mouth watered and his stomach grumbled as he crept up behind the goat. Suddenly, he noticed something remarkable. Everywhere he looked, there were ripe and juicy vegetables, baby bok choy, beautiful eggplant, ready-to-pick carrots, and even his favorite, onions. The old wolf couldn't believe his eyes. Then he saw the goat happily eating the last few weeds. She saw him, too, and froze in fear. You ate my weeds, the old wolf said. But why didn't you eat my vegetables? Sorry, I'm a picky eater, she said. Please don't eat me. The wolf looked at the plump goat and then at all the juicy vegetables and then back at the goat. <sighs> Don't be sorry. You did my work for me. What's one breakfast compared to delicious vegetables for the rest of my days? The wolf smiled as he untied the goat. I could use a friend like you. Plus, Double goat dumplings are overrated anyway. The end. So, thank you.